Hello everyone. Welcome back to Sabir Cat. Hope all are doing fine. I wish you a very happy new year 2022. Let this new year bring a lot of possibilities, opportunities and of course knowledge and learning. Today I'm going to start a new series of tutorials and I would like to call this series as why I love series. Interesting, isn't it? In these tutorials I will show you why I love certain commands in AutoCAD by demonstrating these commands with practical live examples. And these demonstrations will be based on my several years of experience as a consultant in CAD. So if you follow these procedures you can save a lot of time and effort. So let's get started. I'll start with polylines. I love polyline command because of a number of reasons. You all must already be familiar with polyline command, but sometimes you may not have used all the possibilities of this polyline command. So I'll introduce you to some of the practical applications of polyline command. Polylines can be typically used to create wall layouts instantly. Let's see that. I'll click on polyline command, then I'll pick a different corner points to define the various endpoints of the wall. Now this wall is going to be curvular from this point. So I'll pick a point over here, right click and go to arc option. Then I'll pick a point over here. Then a right click and I'll click on line to come back to the line mode. Then I'll pick a point somewhere over here. Then I'll track this point as well as this point to get this intersection. Right click and close. Now to create the wall layout all you have to do is just give offset command and give an offset distance of 20 which is the wall thickness. I'll select the object to offset and side to offset. Now we have created the wall layout instantly. Next I'm going to create a wall thickness in 3D. So I'll switch over my view to southwest isometric by clicking on this particular hotspot of the view cube. Now I'll click on press pull command. I'll pick a point in between the inner as well as the outer wall. Then I'll keep the cursor in the upward direction and I'll type a distance of 300 units. Now I'll give an enter. Next I'll change the shading mode to shaded with edges. Now we have created a 3D wall from polylines instantly. Since polyline consists of lines and arcs, you can create any complex curves flexibly using polylines. Let's see an application. I'll open a new drawing file. I'll click on polyline. I'll create the profile of a pillar. So I'll pick the start point over here. Then turn the ortho mode on. Pick a point over here. Then one more straight down. One more point. Then right click, come to arc option. Right click and click on second point because I want the curvature of the arc to be like this. Then pick a point. After turning off the ortho mode, I'll pick a point over here. Then I'll right click and go to line mode. I'll pick a point somewhere over here. Then right click and go to arc option. Then pick a point over here. Then right click a second point. Pick a point over here. Then right click come to line mode. Then I'll pick a point after turning on the ortho mode over here, which is the base of the pillar. Then I pick a point here. Then I'll track this point to pick a point over here. Right click and close. You can make this pillar a little more thicker by clicking on this edge. Then activate the mid grip. Then move the cursor in the leftward direction a bit. Then pick a point over here. Now I would like to move the right edge of this profile a little bit rightward. For that I'll give stretch command. Select only the area to be stretched using a crossing window. I'll pick the base point over here then turn the ortho mode on and move it rightward and you can see that only that particular portion is getting moved. 
So after creating this polyline, I could do all these editing because it's a polyline and it remains as a single object. Next, I'm going to revolve this profile about vertical axis. For that, I'll click on a revolve command and select the profile and give an enter. Then I'll select this particular endpoint as the first endpoint of the axis and this as a second endpoint of the axis. Then give enter and you can see that the profile got revolved. Next, I'll change the view to southwest isometric. I'll change the visual style to shaded with edges. Next, I'll click on the pillar and you can see that there is a transformation gizmo. Right click on the gizmo and click on rotate. Now hover the mouse over the red circle which represents the x-axis and click on that. When the pillar is in the right orientation, give one more click to rotate it about the x-axis. So this procedure to rotate a 3D object using transformation gizmo is more effective and powerful than using the rotate 3D command. Now I'll turn off the grid. Now let's take a look on this pillar and you can see that it is a perfect 3D pillar which is created using a polyline and you can see all the detailing which you have done on the profile. I would like to conclude this video here in order to limit the length of the video. The rest of the reasons why I love polylines will be dealt with in the next video. So that's all for now. Until we meet again in the next video to see the rest of the applications of polyline. Bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time.